Tonight, the LAPD says officers are being targeted with online threats after the shooting death of a homeless man on Skid Row. We're also learning new information about the man police shot, including his criminal history and confusion about his real identity. KCAL 9's Andrea Fujii has the details. Following the fatal shooting of a homeless man on Skid Row, the LAPD confirms at least two members of the force are victims of what's called doxing. Someone posted their private information online, names, addresses, and even their kids' schools. We are not showing that information. Meanwhile, hundreds marched to LAPD headquarters protesting the killing of the homeless man, identified by law enforcement sources as Charlie Robinet, a French national who was convicted of bank robbery in 2000 in Thousand Oaks. However, the French consulate has confirmed the victim is not a French citizen, but stole a Frenchman's identity. Earlier in the day, protesters attended the police commission meeting. We all saw murder. Do what you want. You've got to do better. We expect better. Police Commission President Steve Soboroff says they'll review all the evidence. Whether this use of force was in or out of policy. The LAPD confirms all four officers involved had mental illness training and two participated in specialized training, like this simulation. Sure, drop the cane. But the director of that training says a suspect's behavior dictates what measures the officers must take. Well, if there's safety concerns, they have to respond uh, in whatever means they can to keep the situation safe. An LAPD commander says they don't expect to release the officers' names until it's determined there are no credible threats against them. Reporting in downtown LA, Andrea Fujii, KCAL 9 News.